The reading for today is from the second book of Samuel, chapter 5. The Lord said to David, It is you who shall be shepherd of my people Israel, and you who shall be ruler over Israel. So all the elders of Israel came to the king at Hebron, and King David made a covenant with them at Hebron before the Lord, and they anointed David king over Israel. Listen, kings and shepherds seem like exact opposites. Kings sit on thrones, they wear expensive clothes and talk to important people. Shepherds, on the other hand, stand on the hillsides. They wear clothes that can get dirty and they talk mostly to sheep. David was both. He was a shepherd that God chose to be king. A shepherd would probably make a very good king since shepherds have to be humble and they probably care more about people than about power. Can you guess who else is a shepherd king? If you guess Jesus, you're exactly right. Jesus is the good shepherd. He knows all of us as well as a shepherd knows his sheep. And he was willing to die so that we can live. Jesus is also the King of Kings. He beat the powers of sin and death. Now he sits on his throne, ruling over all of creation. And today we wonder why a shepherd would make a good king. Let us pray. King Jesus, thank you for having the heart of a shepherd. Would you help the leaders of our cities and nations be as kind and gentle as shepherds too? Amen. Amen.